What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Friday to you guys. I tell you guys, the weather is gorgeous up here in PA right now. I don't know what happened. If it stayed like this, I would stay up this way a little longer. But anyway, today, guys, I am going to be doing a grocery haul in preparation for my road trip. And I will say that this has probably been the most conscious I have been at a grocery store while shopping because I'm trying to, once again, uh, do a little, a little better with my eating habits and also being a little more active by going to the gym. And I do plan on doing some things at campgrounds that I have not done before, like walking. <laughs> I'm going to look for like camping trails and things of that nature. I'm going to continue to try to be active and work out on at the campgrounds and that stuff. Uh, but anyway, remember how I had two refrigerators and the Dometic one went up on me. The compressor finally went up after years and years. So I ordered another refrigerator. It's not as big as the one that I have, but it's going to be a good secondary refrigerator so that I can have some extra food. And the reason why I decided to do that is because I am staying longer periods of time now at these campgrounds. Next year so far, between January and March, I have already booked four campgrounds. And two of the campgrounds, I will be there for seven days. And then one of the campgrounds, I'll be there for 10 days. And the other one, I'll be there for 12 days. So I need to be able to have uh, the capacity to carry and have enough food with me. Because a lot of campgrounds, you know, you can't just drive off the campground and go to a grocery store because then the campgrounds are in the woods and you got to go here, go there to get to the campgrounds, which I love but it's not as convenient now the one in pa that's convenient is about a 20 minute drive to the grocery store i've done that several times while staying at that particular campground but anyway guys i got a lot to show you guys so let's get started all right i'm keeping everything in the bags i'm just going to take them out the bags show you guys put them in the bag because my refrigerator is not in the van right now i have it at the hotel i wanted to keep it cool so when i do put all of my things in there and it won't have to run long before it gets cool so that's at the hotel staying cool i will put these things in there once i get back to the hotel i am at the park right now ah beautiful beautiful day all right let's get into it um no particular order here but i stopped at the international market just a few minutes ago because y'all know I, I can't i can't go on I can't be away that long and not have some of my flavored ginger ales. Y'all know that I love these. These are unfiltered Bruce Coast ginger ale. They come in about four different flavors, actually about five. And this one here is the passion fruit. I also bought two of the jasmine tea. And they have the pomegranate with hibiscus. I love these things. You guys have seen these at my campgrounds. And what else do I have? And this one I have not tried yet. This one is a 66 calorie one. So I guess it's the original one, but they focus, I guess, on the calories on it in it. So yeah, I'm so excited to have these along with me. All right, let me try to get some kind of order here. Because <laughs> I need space. All right, let me start with my meat. Let's start with the meat. Okay. This here is some catfish. I bought some catfish when I was in Baltimore. I didn't do a video on it. And I'm telling you, it was so, so good. So good. So I decided to go ahead and get some catfish. 
I have two packs of salmon, two of them in a, uh, in, uh, a pack. My usual chicken thighs. And I bought some tilapia. So basically right now for a minute, I'm going to be eating either a fish dish or a chicken dish. All right, let me hurry up and put these back in here. All right, in my next bag, some more cabbage. That cabbage was good. Some peppers. I love that this is a resealable bag. And I decided not to do onions uh, and just go along with shallots now. Yes, I'm becoming a shallots person. Then I bought, I bought the good eggs this time. <laughs> I bought these Lando Lakes large brown eggs. I'm telling you, when I bought those brown eggs down in um, Florida at, at uh, Publix, I'm hooked now on the brown eggs. So I bought some brown eggs, a dozen of brown eggs from Lando Lakes. All right, moving along to this bag. I got my teas, and this time I'm trying um, Tezo, Tezo. Got two different ones, some passion here. And this one is uh, organic matcha. I also have two boxes of oatmeal, keeping up with some oats. The same flavors that I bought before, because these are my favorite flavors, the apples and cinnamon, and then the brown sugar, maple brown sugar. Now, last time I bought some, I bought the uh, the equal in the um, yellow packs, and several of you guys told me to get the splendid instead, because this is uh, better. So, I got the splendid this time. And, Last but not least in this bag, I love, love, love. This is my favorite, favorite rice. It is the Thai jasmine that I get from Walmart. It's the uh, great value brand. I love, love, love this rice. I have two big packs of this. As y'all know, I love rice. Love myself some rice. Y'all had to excuse this unorthodox, unorthodox way of <laughs> doing a, <laughs> a grocery haul. All right, let's try this bag here. Now, someone gave me, bought me a mini waffle maker, and I really want to use that. So I bought this uh, shake. Just pour some water in there, shake and pour. Cause you know, I'm all about the simplicity of things. Just put some water in there, give it a little shake, put it on that little waffle maker that was given to me. And I, I bought this syrup. It's vanilla flavor. Cause you know, I'm to and your mama, oh God, and your mama been around for eons. I wanted to try something different. And since I don't really eat hotcakes, French toast and all that stuff that often, I should have bought a loaf of bread because I love French toast the best. And I got some cooking oil. That's it for that bag. Let's move on to this bag. Okay, I love what's in this bag because I'm trying a couple of different things which I am super excited about and I'm super excited to make some recipes uh, with some of the newer items that I bought. So, I have two bags of these cauliflower rice. These are the savory herbs, so they have some flavor to them. 
I actually had three bags of them. And I bought some of this avocado ranch like salad dressing. And I'm going to use this for um, some tacos because I'm going to make some tacos. Now, I took a poll in the community page and I asked you guys about uh, avocados and do they sell them like uh, diced up and, and stuff and so that I don't have to buy the actual avocado and slice it and all that stuff. And you guys told me, some of, them, some of you said that they did have them in the freezer department. So I looked for them at my grocery store and didn't have them. So I figured that since guacamole is uh, primarily made out of avocado, I just go ahead and went ahead and bought this little packet of guacamole. This stuff has no flavor to it to me anyway, but since it's supposed to be good, according to a lot of you out there, that avocados are really good for you. And I want to incorporate it into my eating some way, sometimes. I'm, I'm going to try this first. All right, in this bag, I have some turkey sausages and I bought these all natural Gilbert's Alizar chicken sausages. Now last time I made the cabbage, I didn't have like a meat in it. I just did the bacon and the cabbage. So this time I make the cabbage, I decided that I was going to put some kind of meat in there, some kind of sausage in there. And this is the one that I'm going with. So basically, I'm gonna make the cabbage the same way I did before, but I'm gonna add some meat in it. These are chicken sausages. They look healthy and good. Also, some chicken stock. And in this bag, I bought some tacos. Is eight hard tacos in here and uh, eight soft tacos. I really prefer the soft tacos, but they didn't have just a packet with just soft tacos in it. You had to buy either the kit or something, which I did not want. I also have some broccoli in my refrigerator at the um, hotel. Okie dokie. I also have some more vegetables. I decided to go with some canned vegetables, a couple cans of uh, canned vegetables. I have these Mexican style summer crisp and it's uh, corn, red and green bell peppers. And also in the back, I forgot to get these out before I started the video. I have about four cans of vegetables, two cans of corn, and two cans of the French style uh, string beans. I love, love, love those uh, French style uh, green beans or string beans. Do y'all call them green beans or string beans or are they two different things? And ah, last but not least, I bought two cases of this water. I don't know, something about this water that tastes a little different for me. This is from Sam's Club, but Walmart sells them. So I guess Walmart and Sam's Clubs are affiliated. I already knew that. <laughs> all right, that is the mess. I got all my clothes up <laughs> on my bed, my summer clothes and everything. Uh, when I get back to the hotel, I'm gonna straighten all this stuff out. So the only thing I have to do tomorrow is to get up, take a shower. I may not take a shower because I took a shower today and put on a whole new set of clothes. And since I'm only going to be driving tomorrow, thank goodness tomorrow is just going to be a five hour drive. It's a total of 17 and a half hours from PA down to uh, Florida. Um, but um, looking forward to it. But 
before I let you go, that's all uh, there is to the food haul. Um, I'm definitely going to focus on eating uh, a little better, preparing myself some much better meals, as well as continue to try and work on portion meals. I've been doing really good actually for eating just twice a day. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it feels like I'm doing the right thing. But before I let you guys go, I want to also let you guys know that I went ahead and I filled my box up. Yes. I got everything in this box that um, I'm taking with me and I want to show you guys. I'm not going to take it out, of course, because I'm here at the park. All right, guys, there it is. It's all filled up. Got my little toaster, my collapsible sink. I'm also bringing my uh, Gas One uh, butane cooktop because I want to try to use as less power from my jackeries and my uh, blue eddy as possible and if i can use that while cooking outdoors that will help me to uh, do that so i'm really happy with what i could put in here because i do have a lot of things in there and also in uh, the video a few of you mentioned getting a reflectix uh, thing on the back of it so that it could be seen at night i went to home depot and this is what they had available which was a, a sticker one kind of reflective thing um, i'm going to look for the ones that you can like drill a hole in and put on like here and there i think that would be a lot better but for now um i'm just going to leave this on here i did buy two of them so i probably put the other one on as well and that will do for the time being until i'm able to get what i really like to have back there but yeah, this is a lot of space. I got everything in here. Really, really happy with this. I had this on here for about a day and a half. I put this on here, I filled it up yesterday uh, afternoon and I've been driving around with it all day today and uh, yesterday. I wanted to get a feel of what, it, what it's like to have it back there with it all filled up. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. But before I leave, um, you know what I did? I made a whole ending for this video. Got back to the hotel. Started editing this video and realized that I didn't even have the camera turned on. Oh, my goodness, Anthony. What in a hoot nanny? I have done that so many times and I'm just like so over it. So I'm sitting in my van now making an ending to this video i just now finished cleaning out my van 100 percent. it looks really good in here now i got everything in its place ready to hit the road tomorrow and i'm going to have two refrigerators in here i'm going to have all three of my power stations in here i'm taking every single thing i can possibly fit in this van on the outside of this van because I'm going to be gone for three months. My last campground day ends on March the 28th. Woo! Woo, Woo that's a long time, boy. That's a long time, boy. I am ready, boy. I am ready. I'm so ready. That's going to be a long time, boy. I put a stop on my mail. So, oh my goodness. Speaking of mail, I decided the good thing I did this because I, I said, oh, let me stop at the post office and check and see if I got any mail. Man, oh man, did I ever have some mail. You guys sent me a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I opened my mailbox and it was like six or seven more cards. I was like, whoa. Then I had a key in the mailbox. As you know, if you have a package in the mailbox, uh, package things, they put a key in your box and you go to that little box and you get your package. I opened that up and had two more packages in there. And get get this. In the in the mailbox along with the cards. It was two slips that I had missed delivery on some mail. Man, so I had to go into the post office, get in line, 
and get those packages. That woman went behind there. She took about two or three minutes. When she came back from there, she had like five packages for me. I was like, what? <laughs> oh my God, I was like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I could not believe it. I was like, so I am so, so excited to open them up. But I'm gonna wait until I get to the hotel tomorrow in uh, Virginia and I'll open those up and I might do a little cooking video at the hotel. I don't know, a little New Year's cooking thing. I don't know, but man, oh man, you guys are you guys are too much. I'm telling you, you guys, I cannot wait to see what's in these packages and read these cards to you guys. <laughs> Why I do a little bit of cooking in the hotel tomorrow? All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes. Ah, uh, man, y'all sent me a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of things. Oh my God. I feel very blessed. Very blessed. Mm. Woo. All right, guys. <laughs> y'all be, <laughs> be overwhelming me at times. I mean, if y'all could have uh, could have seen my face when that woman came from behind there with those packages, I was like, what? I know those people in line was like, how is he going to carry those things? I have them all in the front seat of the van now. And that's where they're going to stay until I get to the hotel tomorrow. Okay, enough, Anthony. Let's let's wrap it up. <laughs> I can't help it. I was just overwhelmed. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I really do appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.